Hi, it's Danny Flexen here for Seconds Out. Delighted to be joined by the Hurricane Willie Hutchinson, British title yeah. challenger. You've waited and, and now it's here. Now it's here, isn't it? Um, I just got to grab it with both hands now, don't I? Uh, I'm looking forward to it. It should be a good fight, shouldn't it? For you, the Commonwealth and British title. You've been kind of chasing, chasing is not the right word, but you've been talking back and forth with Lerone Richards on social media for quite a while. Were you yeah, surprised right. that he vacated the title or did you expect it? No, I wasn't surprised. Listen, I wouldn't want to fight me either if I was him. <laughs> um, so I don't blame him. He's a. Uh, I wish all the goodness to him. I hope he goes on and wins a world title or whatever he's planning on doing. But if he's not going to fight me at this level, I feel sorry for him when he makes that step up because you're only going to get better. Do you know what I mean? And then, um, so, now you've got Lennox Clark, who we last yeah. saw um, fighting Lerone for that title. Did you watch that fight right. or what did you make of his performance? I didn't watch that fight, to be honest with you. Um, I didn't watch it and I haven't watched it. And I, <laughs> um, I just leave, leave all that down to my coach. You know, I've never ever watched him. Obviously, I've heard bits of things of him that then. Listen, it'll be a good fight. Do you know what I mean? It'll be a very, very good fight. Um, but I'm... I'm going to be the new Commonwealth and British Super Motherweight Champion. I'm ready to rock and roll. I'm ready to. Uh, I'm ready to make the step up and show everyone what Willie Hutchison is all about. Are you looking forward to going in against someone who's really going to have that belief that they can beat you and is going to come to really push it? Yeah, of course I am. I can't wait, man. It'll be good, won't it? It'll, listen, finally someone was going to come with a bit of belief and a little bit, maybe a will to win. Do you know what I mean? But. Once he gets one of these on his chin, he'll know all about it. You know what I mean? You know, so when one of them hit him at 12 stone, whack, bish, bash, it'll be a good fight. It'll be good. What weight were you for the last fight? You were only a little bit over 12, weren't you? 12 1. Yeah. I was only so a pound. How did you feel in there? I know it didn't last very long, but how did you feel with that weight? Listen, I've made near enough 12 stone. For the other fight, and tw I was only 12 to 1 for that fight. Yeah, you can see the difference, can't you? I'm faster, I'm punching even harder at 12 star. <laughs> I'm feeling good, man. Listen, it's it's the way forward, you know what I mean? I'm feeling good in myself, and yeah, it's it's I've showed it, you know what I mean? Two first round knockouts. Did you find it hard to get down to that weight? Because you've been fighting above it for a while. And even though Dom's there, he's saying, you can do this, you can make 12 stone. You know, it's been actually quite easy through me coach doing me food now. Uh, um, we can say it's easy. Dieting's not easy. It's very, very hard. There's no point in me standing here and telling you how easy it is when it isn't. It's very hard. And, you know, I've... You've got to do what you've got to do. You've got to make sacrifices. And that's my that's one of my sacrifices I need to do. And if that's what's going to make me become a world champion, then I'm going to have to do it now, wouldn't I? So does you Dom know? do all your food or just when you're in the gym? Like, does he send you food? No, he does, my, he, does, he does my food when I'm in camp and out camp now. <laughs> and we've got to stay on it, haven't we? We've got to... It's time to take over. It's time to become the new Commonwealth and British champion. And, yeah, let uh, let Britain know what the hurricane is actually all about. Did, What's the general feeling been like in the gym recently? Because you've got you, Kid Galahad, Liam Williams, all getting towards big fights coming up. Yeah. You've actually got a Listen, date, obviously. It's good. It's good, you know. it's The thing with me is I'm still the youngest in there of all of us, you know what I mean? So every day for me is a learning day. I'm training with the likes of world champions and lads who's fought for world titles and lads who's going to become world champions. So... All I can do is soak it all up in it and take it the day by day. But it's a very good atmosphere and we all get on. You know what I mean? We're all lunatics and we all can fight. So, you know what I mean? It's <laughs> it's good. How did you I've, heard, I've heard a few people calling me and Liam Williams the crate twins. <laughs> you know? So. There's definitely more of a resemblance on your side than his, I think. But. Than his, 100%. Yeah. I'm not sure which twin... You know, do you, no. would you rather be the mental one or the slightly less mental one? Mm, nah, I don't know. <laughs> Two of them could fight. Could I suppose so. as twins, you could just look like both of them. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> um, uh, you mentioned Leah Williams there. Are you two kind of particularly close out of the crop in the gym? To be fair, you we're all actually close now. When it first started, it was me and Liam. Like I was close with Liam and that, but 
the more longer I've been there now, we're all actually quite close, you know. And um, so yeah, we're all close and we're all pushing each other on. It's good. It's a good laugh. How did you find um, fighting with no fans present when you had the the last out? And are you kind of getting used to it? Um. Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, I've done it since I've been nine year old. I, I boxed when there was not a soul there lucky if a referee and some judges were there. I'm well used to all that. And listen, I enjoy it. I enjoy, You know, when you go to fight, you don't know if there's one person there or a million. It wouldn't really matter to me. Like I, I, I said it years ago in interviews. It wouldn't matter to me if I fought in the town hall or I fought in the biggest stadium in the world because the same, as long as I get the same outcome as what I want, I couldn't care less. You know and what the I mean? one you're fighting on next is going to be Frank Warren's last show of the year, and it's also helping right. celebrate his 40th anniversary of being involved in boxing. Yeah. Does that mean yeah. something to you to, to be on a show of that kind of magnitude and, and to mark that occasion? Yeah, it's good. You know what I mean? It's I suppose it's an honour, but I'm going there. I'm on a job and I'm on a mission of the limited edition, and I'm there to smash someone and. Once I've smashed him, <laughs> then yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? It, yeah, it's a good opportunity, but I'm more focused on the fight, you see. Well, how do you feel about the British title itself? Is it something you've grown up kind of wanting to win, or is it just this kind of a stepping stone on the way to greater things? Um, What do you mean? Say that again. So the British title, which is at stake, is it something where yeah. you've grown up as a boxing fan and a bo amateur boxer wanting to win that Lonsdale belt? Or is it just like it'll get you closer to where you want to go? It's getting me closer to where I want to go. I've never really, since I was a little boy, ever think of uh, Commonwealth or British or anything like that. Listen, these are all my, my, like, let's hope I would do what I need to do and I win and I get on and off. But my only ever dream from a little boy was to become a world amateur champion. Uh, sorry, a world champion. So, um, yeah, it's that's 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 my aim. But listen, they're, they're the titles I've got to win first, didn't they? Anything can happen. This is boxing. When you think about winning that world title, is it a particular one? Like in your in your brain, do you see one of the particular belts? I've got a story for you. I've told a few people the story. So when I was 13 year old, I was in Sweden with my dad, who was away working. And when I was 13 year old, I wrote in one side of my book, because I was already Scottish and Commonwealth champion, oh, and British champion as an amateur. And on the side of that book, I said I would become Scottish, British, European and world amateur champion. I accomplished all them as an amateur. I was 13. The next side of the book, I wrote in big bubble writing, I still got it at my granny and granddad's house in the loft, that I'd become the WBC champion of the world in big bubble writing. And I grew a bo I draw the boxing glove underneath it, a gold one. And yeah, it was the WBC. Listen, any like any belts or whatever, it'll be good, but and for some reason, I've brought the WBC champion of the world. That's been my... Was there uh, someone you kind of watched when you were 13 that had the WBC? Was it, you know, did you have a hero that you looked no, up to? No. I don't think I did. Like, obviously, I had those boxers I looked up to, but no, it was just, I just thought the WBC was my one. Well, it's just the nicest looking belt, in it, at the four, I think. I think, yeah, yeah. No, not the nicest, nicest, the wrong nice. <laughs> I couldn't <laughs> care less what one I got. <laughs> Yeah. But what I mean is, for some reason, I always wanted the WBC. Who's got that at the moment, WBC at your way? Is it Benavides? Just trying to remember. I couldn't tell you, actually, to be honest. Or is it... Oh, no, it might be Canelo. Oh, no, isn't it vacant? They were trying to make Canelo against Yildirim for it. I think that's WBC. Right, I don't know. I don't know. You'll know more than me. <laughs> I'm not sure I do, because I'm struggling, isn't I? Um, <laughs> talking about that, though, what, what do you make of um, Canelo against Callum Smith, that was recently announced? Yeah, listen, it'll be a good fight, won't it? It'll be a very, very good fight. I couldn't actually... Let's hope Callum Smith wins it and brings all the titles back to Britain. Unbelievable. Have yep. you ever sparred Callum Smith? No, I haven't, no. Okay. Have no, you sparred be good, though. any of the kind of good super middleweights or, or around your weight, apart from Leah Williams, of course, who's a world-class fighter in your gym, but have you travelled anywhere or they've come into you to spar anyone we'd know about? Uh, listen, I've sparred a few. I'm... I've spied quite a lot. I, spied, I actually spied, spied Lerone Richards. I spied oh. Bawati. I spied... Uh, Billy Joe? 
Mm, I've done a few rounds of Belia, but obviously, it, uh, that was a few years ago. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm a pup. <laughs> yeah. When did you spoil the road? I spoiled the in my gym, actually, to be honest. What, recently or a while ago? A few months ago, yeah. Really? That recent? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, really just a while ago. Listen, it was good. It was a good spy. Is, is that why he's not fighting you? Is that... <laughs> I'll get you no. <laughs> listen, it's only sparring, isn't it? It's only... What's sparring? It's sparring's all about learning, you know what I mean? It was... It, listen, it was a good spa. It was good. It was a good 50-50 spa. Who do you do most of your sparring within the gym? Is it Liam? To be fair, we, I've never sparred anyone from my gym. Oh, right. Anyone. Yeah. I think I, me and Billy done one. No one spars anyone, you know? No, No one... No one spies anyone for us because listen, you put two tigers in the ta- in a in a ring. No matter if the brothers or sisters or cousins, they're gonna absolutely kill each other, aren't they? Yeah. So if they put me and Liam Williams in the same ring as each other, I ain't gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna. He's gonna kill me. And I'm gonna kill him, isn't it? So do you bring people in from other gyms then for your sparring when you've got a fight coming? Yeah, they bring. They, I leave all that down to Dom and that you know. So they bring, obviously, my spam partners and stuff in. So, yeah, it's all from outside. Dom's a huge believer in you, obviously. He raves about you all the time. Kind of give yeah. give some of that back. What What's good about Dom? What are his kind of key strengths as a trainer? You know, I, when I'm here, I spend day in, day out with that man. That man, I'm basically living with him. He makes me dinner, me tea. He, um, if I need some, I text him. If I need some, I ring him. If there's anything I'd... He's always checking up on me every day. Um, likes of today, we went a two-hour walk. I'm with him day in, day out. Uh, Saturday, Sundays, I'm with him all the time. So he spends a lot of time on me. He's, he And obviously, he believes in me. Do you know what I mean? And in my eyes, in my eyes, he's the man that's going to make take me right to the top. It's as simple as that, yeah. Where, where did you go for your walk? We just want to walk around this like pond type place. He took me to it. I don't have a clue where it is. <laughs> For two hours? For two hours, yeah. W- what did you talk about? Like, not all the whole two hours, but what, what were some of the things you talked about? Just, I don't know. Shite, really. <laughs> <laughs> Just bring bits and No, he didn't bring it. He didn't bring it. He uh, he left that one at home. Bet that was a relief. Yeah. Uh, no, listen. He's very good, he but you wouldn't want to listen to it for two hours. Though. I like these songs. No, so do I, but not for two hours in a stretch. No, maybe not, but it is what it is, isn't it? Yeah, he's a good guy. Well, no, he is. Really, really appreciate your time, as always. Yeah. Look forward no to problem. it next week. I say next week. We might not put this out till next week, so I've just dated the interview, but we look forward right, to it man. on December the 5th. And, yeah. And fingers crossed for you, you become British and Commonwealth Super Middleweight Champion. Let's go, baby. Ha, ha, ha.